Hello, welcome back to Monster Train. It's uh late. Hope you're doing well today. I'm doing fine. This is a back recording. I got nothing better to do. I'm not tired. I'm sure I'll be tired in like, I don't know, 30 minutes, but my sleep schedule has been very uh, frigged lately, as I've talked about at length in Monster Train. Uh, so I was like, ah, you know what? I'm gonna record an episode. Why not? Recorded Arcanium a little bit before this. That should be going up by the time you've heard this, uh, hopefully. Monster Train? Uh, okay. Hey, there we are. Just took a second. Hope you've been well. I'm doing fine. Uh, no, I'm not gonna tell you anything today. I got nothing to say. I talked about that HelloFresh thing. You can see the description for that. I'll probably talk about it like once a week. I don't want to, you know, you know how it is. I don't, I never want to take away from the content itself. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Exhale Stygian, exhale Umbra. It's pushback Talos. This is like, this is the OG. I can't believe they did this for me. They put out Exile Umbra and this boss in the same update. That shit blew my mind when it happened. Uh, Curse Fell Chase Seraph, Titan's Gratitude, Mind Collapse, Guardian's Amulet. I've been fine lately with Monster Train. I don't feel either way. We lose some, we win some, it's whatever. It's all the same to me, if you will. Massive Concussive Coal Seder. And Dire Channel's probably the worst champion in the game, so. If this is wrong, I shouldn't click this. But wing technology is very good in the early game, so I will take it. I... Yeah, this is like, I'm playing way too greedily here. It shouldn't be too bad, but I shouldn't do this. However, much like the episode not too long ago... I think two days ago. I'm just gonna kind of send it and we're gonna see where we end up. I think it'll be fine in this combat. Anyway, we have a lot to like here. It's not something where I give you, like, I, I'm not taking active thought into this and going like, oh yeah, well when I run the numbers here, I think this will pan out. It just kind of feels right, you know? I got the plus five, I got a soul guard. It feels right to me. I think it's gonna pan out. I'm not going to think about it any more critically than that. It feels like we're good. Oh, we are not good yet. Hold. Uh, Morsel goes wherever. Just play Foregone Power Plank. He'll die. Not a problem. Played bottom floor here. If you're wondering, I played bottom floor to let the Frostbite have time to do the Frostbite thing. It's a little bit better as long as you can float it and we can float it because it's not a hard combat it's like all of that I, so, sometimes i wonder if i'm am i just playing too am i playing fast and does it look like i know don't know what i'm doing i've played 1800 hours of this game you, i can process that combat is easy and can take a plus six for me in this circumstance very quickly sometimes i wonder if that doesn't come across though i don't think it comes across sometimes anyway Prismal Dust is interesting. It anti-synergizes with Revenge. I'm gonna take Space Prism. Offering Monument. Alright. Here's the deal. I I would rather, and I'm, I want you to understand, I say this from, like, with, with the deepest part of who I am. I would rather lose this run than do an infinite here. In no universe am I willing to play an infinite. You think I'm gonna fucking spin up an infinite at 4 a.m.? Hell no. That's what time it is, by the way, in case you're wondering. Uh, let's not autopilot and buy a removal here. What I should buy is I should buy a reroll. Terrible. I could take a large stone as like a strong maybe, but. Nah. I don't know, man. I don't really like our position all that much right now, but there's still time. I'm gonna play a higher floor here because if I play the lower floor, they're gonna walk all over me. I need the time. 
But we're gonna play around Offering Monument in this run. I am pretty sure it's good. The problem this run faces, of course, is Soulguard dies. And Soulguard dying is not good. You can probably guess that, though. I can't hit him enough to get him to hit me for one. I don't know how I fix the Soul Guard dies problem, but if I come up with an idea, I'll be sure to inform you. Five, what a shame. Hoping to pull. Okay, well. Okay, well. Absolutely horrific series of events there. I was hoping to get to a point where I could kill this foot soldier with mine collapse easily, but that was not to be. Okay, so we take the X and we leave here. And you know what? Five damage, both unit drafts, and a questionable start? I'm not gonna complain. I should take Flash Freeze. I, like, I really want to pick Offering Token there, but I should take Flash Freeze. I'll play Perils. Perils is fine. I will play the shark. Hot shark answers like 50% of the question of how do I win this run, assuming endless plus 25. Like half of the run is won. I go left here. So... In this position, it's pretty easy to pick Capricious. I either hit a really bad Siren and then just infuse it into the, the okay Siren, or I hit a really good Siren. Same thing for Shark. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, let me get the quick hot Shark. Oh yeah, that's what I want you. Yeah. Times five. Anything worth times five in here? I think absolutely not. Times one anything? Probably Space Prism is okay. Give me a second Space Prism. I think it's fine. I don't think it's great, but like, it's a free spell and I have Offering Monument, so. I'm gonna go ahead and slap this Infusion out. You could argue that I should wait because what if I see a good shark in the next area, but like, what do you think the odds are that I see a hot shark off of Talos, and that shark has plus 25 or endless or large stone. I think the odds aren't very much in my favor. And there's a horde here. I think mostly I wanted to do it now though because I just want to get the shark. I think he's good to have. Hey, you know what? You know what? I could have hit the siren and that would have been a little bad there, but... I think it would have been fine, and also the payout of hitting 29 Frostbite on that turn is really good. You're not Endless. Don't forget, he's not Endless. Uh, this, you might think, looks a little bit dire, and you know what? <laughs> you, you might be right. I don't know about this one, buddy. The upside is we have 58 Frostbite on Talos. The downside is the rest of the run, but the upside is really high up. The, the Soul Guard dies, that's the big one. And I have no good answer. I guess I have to kill these with spells now. But, thank you for it on power. Very good stuff. I have a 32-32. I have to be on the lookout for things like Mind Collapse here. Oh, uh... Don't discard Mind Collapse. Wow, I actually did. Cool. That means I can go here and here. I will get smoked by this apprentice, I think. You're at what? You're, you can actually take 10, so he's at 35, he goes to 25. Not a good reason then. I should play this down here. All of my damage spells kill anyway. So if I draw one, Protector dies. If I don't, it doesn't make a difference. 369 versus 48. Okay. Yeah, you flash freeze him there. Big 8 instead of 9, it saves you exactly one. Not a big concern either way. You wanna watch me hit 6 blink 50 50s in a row? Oh. Could have just played Guardian's Amulet, but. 
I mean, I, no, I shouldn't have because I. Uh, fuck you, Blink. I gotta stay on brand here. Anyway, we win this game because I put 74 Frostbite on the boss on turn two. Or over the course of three turns, I guess, really. But. That's fine. Deep Offering's fine. One energy Deep Offering, no problem there. These units are atrocious. In can Armor 2, Icy Silophyte is almost pickable. Morsel Maker is also pretty good as an infusion, I think, for Siren of the Sea, but I think I have more than six incants on the horizon for myself. With, yeah, with Offering Monument, definitely. Okay, uh, we want energy here. Offering Monument makes me a little more interested in energy. And we want the Steel Shop, of course. I want to find Endless or Multi Strike or. Large stone. Like, it's impossible for me to miss here. The worst is quick large stone, but anything other than that is also fine. Endless for the shark sounds pretty good to me. Got to click the artifact first. It's okay. I should not click this. The odds were not in my favor. I mean, double incant or frostbite doesn't decay. Both pretty much win the run for me, so I should click it, but it's, it's a lot easier to click it, miss, and then go, oh, I shouldn't do this, but... Realistically, it's like, oh, you gotta really weigh, well, what's the odds? Uh, re not really what you gotta weigh is you gotta weigh how much am I fucked if I miss there. And the answer is, like, not that much. I have an Endless plus 25 Hot Shark with South Infuse. He's gonna win me the next, like, two combats on his own. Armor 15 scares me because what if my Shark is late? If this wasn't a haste combat, this would be an easy take. Iron. I'll draw two more. That was a pretty risky, actually, because if I draw the shark, it's kind of rough. But I didn't draw the shark, so it wasn't all that risky. Thanks, Plink. Very nice. Uh, oh no, Plink! Oh no! Oh no! I've made it. I've made a critical error. I did not see this. Okay, I saved it. I did not see this one, um, sl one slight oversight on my part. That unit had no frostbite. That was just death on my doorstep, staring me down, looking me dead in the eyes, old death. And I said, yeah, that's a big fuck up, huh? That's what I said to death. And death said, yeah, it is, brother. Yeah, it is. Anyway, me and death go way back. Uh, not, not, you know, no, no continuation of that bit. There's nothing more to that one. I make a statement, move on. There's no more. Nuance is dead. This guy claps me. And by claps me, I mean he does 10. I want to spend the remainder of this run searching for answers to the age-old question of they get me here. How do I stop it? How do I minimize the they get me issue? The answer is I need to pick up like Vapor Funnel or maybe Siren Song, but Siren Song is kind of mid here. I need to pick up something to help me mitigate because all my damage is through Frostbite. I can also fix it a little bit by playing a lower floor. That chip damage is reduced or minimized if I play on mid floor, which I will probably do. I don't think so. Although, you know what might be good here? Incan Armor 1 on the Offering Monument. That way I can just get armor on Soul Guard. Just a little bit. Or even Incan Armor 1 on the Siren is pretty good. I'm gonna take Guardian Stone. Don't overlook him. God, fucking Multi-Strike Ember Forge? Give me the Ember Stone. Multi-Strike Ember Forge? Monster Train. I'm gonna go left. I need removals here. Monster Train. Multi-Strike Ember Forge, come on. There's not a card there that I want, so I just clicked on whichever one. I didn't want any of that. I'd be pretty worried about taking the Pact here. I don't think I should do it. I don't need this armor urgently, it's a later thing. 
This could be another situation where just taking multiple offering monuments is the line forward. I think I can take double energy and play like three offering monuments, loop through the deck four times on turn three, and then call it a day. That's going to be the idea here. Anyway. We go Soul Guard, we go Offering Monument. Do not play Guardian Stone. I think that's a little too risky for me. I do need the Siren to be alive. Don't play double Offering Monuments here. Trample Stone goes out. And then, again, don't do anything too crazy with it. It's really good for me to leave this marksman alive. It is, I would go so far as to say crucial, because I need that extra frostbite to have a chance to not just absolutely eat it here. I now have a chance to not absolutely eat it here, hopefully. Space Prism, Space Prism, thank you Titan's Gratitude for giving me this opportunity here today. for the energy. Guardian Stone. I can't guarantee Crypt Builder, can I? I can guarantee Crypt Builder if I play Forgone Power first. Because if you think about the outcomes, uh, it either, it can, so it can discard Crypt Builder, W. It can discard one of the other three, uh, one of the other two cards, uh, which would be Guardian Stone or Plank. Also W, because then I can play Titan's Gratitude. And then the only bad case is it discards Titan's Gratitude, and then I just pay for Crypt Builder. Yeah, fuck you, Monster Train. And now I take 18. In, any, in a, a lot of circumstances, actually 22, in almost every circumstance I take 0 there. But Monster Train hit me with the 1 and 4. Just to keep me on my toes. And by on my toes, I mean spit in my face. Appreciate it, Monster Train. I remember. Hey, please don't kill Solgar. That's not good. Let's see what we can do about that. I need to play the shark down here for sure. Looking at maybe playing the shark top, but... Nah. Come on, no way he lives this at... Oh my god, he lives at one man! I'm at four HP and I gotta tell you, I don't... I stand by this multi-strike. There's a lot of runs that I play where I'll take a trial and I'll be like, ooh, I don't know if I should take this, and it'll come out 100% fine. This is the exact sort of run that- this is the antithesis of that. This is the run that makes me question picking every single one of my other runs, uh, trials. Because, like, what the hell? I took 34, the enemies lived at, like, 1 and 2. Like, I, no, he lived at, like, 1 and 4, I think it was, or some shit like that. Oh god, that's so grim. That's so grim. Give me forever consumed after this. I was gonna take the 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 Ember Cash, but no. I need twenty fives and I need multi strikes here. I expect no multi strike. Oh wow, Monster Train. I apologize. I'm gonna beef the offering monument up to ninety. A value stone? No. A purge stone? No. I'm going to take nothing. We're at 70... Uh, 95. I'm going to be over by 10 if I live. That's fine. It's been a... It's been a run. I just want to slam mid four or bottom four here. I think I am actually. Oh, but if I play mid four and then I don't draw the space prism in time, it's really awkward because my whole deck is built around one specific card. And so if I if I play bot if I play mid four and I don't draw space prism, it's real bad because then I miss my offering monuments and that is like run losing. I think. Oh, order well. Oh well. I could have killed the... this guy. Space Prism. I would have not drawn it in time, but that's okay. This is going to be four curses. I am not really in a position to let curses go and just hit me. 
unfortunately, play Guardian Stone. I am down roughly 1 trillion HP from where I should be here, or where I perceive I should be, I should say. And also, unfortunately, the draw is a little bit awkward. Terrible ice storm. And good, good discards at least. You know what, foregone power, great job. Foregone power, it, it takes so much, so much shit. You got to give foregone power a thumbs up for that one. It didn't, it didn't worst case me. You love to see it, foregone power. Absolutely love to see it. Well, it's, it's acceptable to see it, I should say. My draw priority is looking a little late. And I'm looking a little dead here. I am not dead. Yet. My offering monument is a little bit late to the party, though. I gotta say. My man was supposed to be here a lot sooner than that. I'm not supposed to be on the edge of my seat here on this survival path. Also, I didn't actually draw enough to kill. Orgon power, this is your holy mission. Don't whiff. Again. You know what? You know what? You know what? Take the damage. I, it's like, we're not doing this anymore. I don't believe in this game. I do need to... Oh, I'm Ember Drain to hell because I didn't kill my Offering Monument, of course. That's really bad because now I lose the Shark. That is actually an extremely bad turn of events. I'm okay, but... That's not ideal. Well, we're alive again. Hold over wretch value or double stack spike of the Stygian ancient synergy. Permafrost ancient synergy is real good. I'm taking energy again. I really want to go to the magic shop, but. I do feel compelled to just keep going to HP, so I'm going to. Light's Gift is bad. The end. I need 25s. Can't complain about the multi-strike on this run at all. Uh, I will take... Pyrewall or Sigiled Seaweed? I think on Chase Seraph I'm a little better off to take Sigiled Seaweed. Aww. Silencing Ember Drain is huge. Even if it's only like one. Cut out Young Blinkus. Just one card, I just want to cut one. The number is very high, we're at 32. Very scary, so I'm nervous. No, I'm not going to click the Spikes Trial. I feel like it's just too scary, isn't it? Surely it's too scary. Oh, yeah. I don't think I have it in me to click a Spikes Trial in that position. More power to you if you do. Okay. I expected to draw through my deck a lot more efficiently than this. I don't know. I think that's really awkward is the way that I get caught out like this. Oh, because now the Offering Monument dies, yeah. That's good. Anyway, I'll be taking my damage here, thank you. Imagine this run with a Light's Gift, though. Oh, he was Silence, that's huge for me. 
Okay, uh, I'm going to play Guardian Stone, yes. How are you not dying? Oh, because there's nothing else on this floor. So, and my frostbite is just wasted, I see. And like, was it, who's gonna kill? The Siren of the Sea doing 88 damage? Yeah, I don't think so. Yeah, two mine collapses. Thank you. Oh, and Perils, actually, thank you. Crypt Builder, thank you. Crypt Builder, actually, really good here, though. But it saves me damage. Oh, and then I eat a million Ember Drain on this turn. I'm getting crushed in this run. And I don't know why. But like, who buddy, I am getting a little bit got here. At least there's frostbite. <laughs> And then I lose my shark here. I know that. Life or death based on... You know what? Don't, don't fuck with it. Don't touch it. Just take the W. Th this rod looks atrocious. I have been hit in every combat. I am no longer telling you... I mean, it was... For, for a little bit there, it was like, Oh, we're off by one, we're off by two. We're no longer off by one or two. We're missing by a lot. Things are not nice anymore. I've been go I'm only alive because I've gone to like every pyre remains, I think. I'm gonna cut out I mean mine collapse in theory should be fine. I'm gonna cut out Plink again. I blame this on Plink still. Anyone got any double incants for me? No. Tragic. Intrinsic is good. The run is so dire that I'm like, man, maybe I don't want to do this infusion. I have to though. I have to do the infusion. But like maybe I don't wanna maybe I don't wanna take five away from my siren of the sea. That's a grim thought. I'm gonna go intrinsic space prism so that I can maybe play middle floor here. I think that's the secret strat, and then, yeah, wow, that's awful. I don't want any of that. I guess I could take plus three magic power, but I think that you're almost certainly getting more value coming over here. Getting like a plus 20 consume on Plink, getting like a reroll, getting a minus one on to probably deep offering is good. A plus 10 on the Ice Storm. A removal on to... Get rid of a foregone power. I'm at 105. I'm out of money. Alright. Let's go see what Chase Seraph has to say. This run should end in horror here. That's my feeling. But let's give it a good old college try, yeah? I am going to play middle floor this time around. I think the extra turn of Frostbite will be very good. Now, if I can cycle the whole deck on this turn, I'm gonna feel a little bit better about the run. A lot of cards. I would like to... Take a break from cycling the whole deck to look at this. I think it is a good idea to put 150 damage into this and not take Ember Drain. However, I am actually taking Ember Drain nonetheless. This was an incorrect idea. I have Ember Drained anyway. And this guy lived at 3? Weird. Park here. You're at 30. I can clear it now, for sure. I will empty 
the offering monument. Now, we're at 20 stacks. I should draw the other one here, right? Because of draw priority? Yeah. Because I cycled the whole deck, and this was already... This was in the discard pile. So draw priority works for me here. Lose one to Ember Drain, that's okay. And now, the big W, the big difference here, between every other combat and now, I have an extra round. Haven't, haven't really felt like it mattered until this time. Get whatever little bits of frostbite we can. I, Perils is such a risk. I feel such fear. But it's also very thrilling. Oh. 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 The Ember Drain is big. The rest of this is ugly. Okay. That was an Ember Drain, by the way. That's Sap, actually. Okay. So, 61. I What I want to do now is I want to try to start minimizing Solgar's damage taken by buffering it with the Shark. Like this. I'm going to probably take damage in the Pyre for this. But I think it's actually pretty important. This enemy's dead exactly. No, they're not dead exactly. Don't do it to yourself. They're off by one because Frostbite takes down. Yeah, that looked right to me. I don't feel cheated, that looked exactly correct. Okay, Shark dies, this is pretty much as good as it could be. This is as good as it could be, actually. Uh, right here. Nine. I just have to make sure I don't do anything clown here. And then I did something clown. I didn't count to two. <sighs> What's wrong with me? 35.92. I, you know, strong feeling that we're gonna take this one. Still real silly of me to, uh... 36. That didn't change it. There you go. It's, don't, don't do anything clown here, and then I immediately did something clown there. I wanted the shark to be full health entering Relentless, but, you know. It, we're, we're alive, I guess, going into the Divinity. 33 HP. How do we kill mini-bosses? Don't, don't type to me. I'm not, I don't have a plan. I'm here, man. I made it. I think this run is a little bit awkward, but probably a lot easier than I've made it. Same shit. Play mid-floor. Don't waste my incants when the unit that needs to be incanted isn't here. This is a run that I think would crush if the, if the Divinity didn't have the Frostbite Reduction, but because of the Frostbite Reduction, I think we get crushed. I think we get squashed here. I'll gamble, why not? We're gonna need a little bit of good luck to get out of this one anyway, yeah? Yeah, I think we're gonna get squashed here by the mini-bosses particularly. But maybe something exciting will happen. That is really bad. That is not exciting in the slightest. That is horrifying. If I had played Foregone Power, I could have gambled for it at least. Yeah. This looks pretty hard lost to me, I gotta tell you. I don't think you frostbite through this, because how the hell do you deal with this guy? And the answer is, hey, I'm dying. The answer is I probably needed to play a second Siren. I think that's the takeaway from this run. I don't. I think that this is cute and all, but I probably needed to take space and play a second Siren. Hmm. 270 damage might have made a difference. This run's over. This just doesn't win. I, I'm not gonna try to beat around the bush here and be like, oh well, maybe we could do this and this. And maybe there's a but there's no path out of this shit. Are you kidding me? Look at this guy. You think there's a path out of this shit? No way. 
I think that in a world where I could uh, play... Uh, not, not even in a world where the boss keeps stacking frostbite. In a world where I could play, uh, like, I don't know, man. I really don't know why you do differently. And no, I do know. You play a second Siren. But even that doesn't sound that good because I'm still going to get crushed. You just look back at the run and you go, yeah, I took uh, 5 here, 11 here, 16 here, 34 here, 12 here, 19 here, 30 here. Like, I took, uh, what was it, 16, 32, 66, uh, 78... 97. I took 127 damage from combat 2 to combat 8. Which is a pretty good sign that this run is fucked up. Uh, I think that I would just play a second Siren of the Sea. But the problem is that this run, this run needs to hinge around some good spells, I guess. Yeah, probably. It just it didn't feel right. Nothing felt right about this run. I think it I think the thing that threw me off is the offering monuments, honestly. I think that those were not as good as I wanted them to be. I think I would play I'd play this again and I'd just play Siren, Siren, Soul Guard. Fuck offering monument here. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, don't forget to leave me a like, subscribe if you want to see more. I'll see you in the next one. Have a good one.